Oh hey, it's Swimmer Lucy, and she has a porfin. What the heck is a porfin? Is that a, is that a dolphin? Rockster? It's a big crab, dude. Oh, Corrine. For Gelatop? Just just naming Pokemon after sweets now? Uh, Kahul Kahula? Is this an evolution? Cal Calpula? Oh my god. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the more Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark. This is part 10, I believe. If you guys have been enjoying the series so far, leave a like on the video. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to show you guys kind of uh, where we are because we have moved since last video. I think before we were like over here and now we're over here. We haven't really moved much. We're in this area called Rainbow Reef. I was trying to level up my Pokemon uh, and... We kind of just got to this. I, I'm, I'm assuming this is Misty versus Team Solar. We kind of got to this important uh, storyline thing that I think I can't uh, move forward until I uh, until I guess I encounter it. So let's just let's just let's just get into it, I guess. What's going on here then? What's all this? Hello, Misty. I didn't know she would be like, I guess, an important part of this game. But hey, I, she's a fan favorite. Why not? It's you, Axel. Glad that you came. These creeps are calling themselves Team Solar. They're attacking this innocent Corrine. Don't mess with us, redhead. Wait, you literally have red hair! What's your little friend gonna do, huh? This Corrine is coming with us. Once it's shed, its valuable coral flowers will sell them for a high price. You poachers, leave it alone. Uh, team up with me, Axel. Help me bring these guys down. All right, let's do it. That's that's really funny. They're, <laughs> they're, they're judging her for being a redhead. They're calling the cattle black, really. Like, Paul calling cattle black. Whatever. Yeah, we've been using Rupert, though. Rupert is actually really good. Uh, Rupert, Rupert's, been, Rupert's been putting in a lot of work. He packs a punch. Look at that. We O-code him. And yeah, we're four times super effective, but Bulldoze... I mean, in main series games, Bulldoze is... When you use it in a double battle, it's spread across, you know... I guess four different Pokemon, so the damage of it goes down. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Uh, but yeah, Parasy used Bulldoze as well. What the hell, dude? See, look at Parasy's Bulldoze. That did nothing. Absolute garbage. And now we got Scorp Scorpionova. Scorp Scorpionova? Okay, you guys were actually really curious as to what that Scorpion dude evolved into, and I guess this is it. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan. I've never been a big fan of, like... I don't know what the words for them are. I guess crab? Crab Pokemon? You know, I, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of Kingler. Crawdon's okay. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of those guys. So, you guys were like, want me to use him. I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> and we got Humzap. Have we seen this guy before? I don't think we have. He looks dope though. And he's gonna just go ahead and take Rupert out. No worries. Thanks. Humzap is actually really cute. I actually really like it, but unfortunately... We've already got an electric type. I'm sorry. A lot of you guys actually responded really well to the idea of me doing a Nuzlocke this game. Uh, now, of course, I'm doing this on YouTube, so the bias is going to be... Uh, oh, yeah, you should upload a Nuzlocke to YouTube. Um, but obviously, I don't want to do a playthrough and then immediately do a Nuzlocke. So I, I would maybe Twitch stream the Nuzlocke and upload upload the, the VODs to YouTube after for anybody that really cared about watching it. Um... I guess it would just to also, I guess, make things fresh for me, you know, because doing another full Nuzlocke playthrough of this game, I'd probably get burnt out unless I had like a live audience there, you know? Twitch streaming is much different than uh, making videos, if that makes sense. Ah, it's Blitzaglow, they've got him! Ah, they're spoiling him, no, get him off my screen. We're gonna get him in one level, I'm pretty sure he evolves level 34. Uh, and we're gonna see what the shiny Blitzaglow looks like. I'm really excited. Oh, <gasps> wait, no, it's level 33! Oh! Okay, wow. I didn't realize. Well, Starburst evolving now. Shiny Blitz Aglow looks like something like this. Okay, that's different. Now, I will be honest, I do prefer the original color more because I like orange more than green, but this is cool too. It looks, you know, it's a shiny. I cannot deny a shiny. That's nice. I really like that. Um, you fools. You should know better than uh, to mess with us. Um, let's get out of here. Our mission is over. The Sea Temple isn't in this location. Flash. This looks like a transition you'd see in, like, Adobe Premiere. <laughs> um, sorry, Sony Vegas. Well, the Karina is a little shaken up, but it seems okay. Bye. Oh, Eli. Oh, that must be the thing. That's really expensive. Okay, cool. I guess we can sell that. Cool. So this coral flower apparently makes water and rock types stronger. 
but it can also be sold for a high price. Cool. I don't know if I'm ever going to have a water rock type, so might be best to sell it. So thanks for helping me. I was uh, just here to see the reef and it's kind of Pokemon found here. There's so many cool Pokemon. Go back to Wake, Wake Tide City, helping at the aquarium. See you later. Bye. I don't actually know which way I meant to go because when I was grinding earlier, I was trying to go down, but like there didn't really seem to be a way to go down. So are we meant to use dive? We don't have dive, do we? Are we meant to have dive? So it looks like we can continue to the right here and we're on Route 10B. Cool. We're actually making progress. This route, this, this whole route has been really long. We went through this massive swamp and now we're going through this massive, like, just, I guess, body of water. There's just so much to go through, man. Um, and we're looking at the map. We just have to go down south now. And there's a lighthouse. Uh, I believe that's actually where we get fly. I don't know if we actually get the, the HM fly. You know, we get the ability to fly, which is going to be good because I'm sick of having to run back and forth the region. I feel like leaving fly this late on is a bit. I don't. I don't know if I. I don't know if I hate it or not. I don't know. <laughs> well, here we got beta tentacle at least. Uh, I think this is the evolution of a Pokemon because I saw a pre-evolution or like a it was called Jelly Tot or something and it was like a pink one. I imagine it's probably like Jellicent, like, you know, where like, I guess there's a male female difference and then Jelly Tot was like the the frillish and then that one there is the evolution. Oh my God, Doflap. He looks epic. I like him. He's really cool. He just U-turned me. That did no damage, buddy. This... I don't know if that's the evolution of... That's a, this is a different... This is a different Pokemon completely. I was thinking this would be, um... Related to that shark Pokemon earlier, but... I... I guess it's not. Because the shark is like a part electric type, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, that guy's funky. Hopefully we'll be at the end of this soon, though, because, uh, water routes... You know, they're not the best. Especially when, uh... I'm trying to train up a fire type and a ground type. Angelish. All right, you're funky looking. I like you. Trimpet here. Uh, let's just mega kick him. And we finally miss one. And here we are in Coralite Town. I heard some good things about this town. Can't believe we're here already. Damn. Oh, let's go heal up our boys. See if there's any cool quests for us to do. Ah, it's you. You're still behind me. I feel my Pokemon here because I want to train at Battle Cafe. Have you heard of it? It's a place where people come from all over the Rokoto region to battle and train. After my training, I will go to the Coralite Lighthouse. I've heard that there is a, a keeper on the highest floor who is really good at battling. He's uh, found on the Pokemon Flying Service too. I don't think you could beat him, haha. <laughs> I will, and then I will use his Flying Service for free. Catch you later, use it, loser. Okay, cool. So that's, that's confirmed. That is the Flying Service. That is where we need to go to get Fly. Um... And then there's also this battle cafe. So I think this episode is probably going to be jam-packed with battling. Um, but before we get into that, what's up? I'm looking for a trainer who can show me a special Pokemon, but unfortunately I forgot its name. The only thing I know is that it has a Machian in its second stage. It can have two different abilities. I would like to see it with the ability Scrappy. Ah, uh, I don't know what that is. I have a special task for you. My son, his head is full of silly ideas. Uh, he should be taking over the farm, but instead he's dreaming about being a Pokemon trainer. He thinks he is the most talented trainer out there. He's actually, uh, he headed over to Sailport to start his journey. Can you battle him and teach him a lesson? Uh, I feel like he should beat me. I feel, uh, well, that's me. That's such a weird quest. Why would I want to stop somebody, stop somebody with their of their dream of being a Pokemon trainer, man? I, f I feel like it's gonna be like that burglar one where I if I if I if I if I lose to him, you know, the son gives me something. I don't know. And then the dad's gonna be all mad at me. But I think I think that's one I should lose. Maybe. I don't know. Have you ever seen the champion of Rokoto? Strangely, I can't remember his face. I don't think we have, have we? Maybe we have and he's just not told us. Wait, hold on. Do you know the names of the best trainers in the Rokoto region? They are Rocco, Prudence, Nora, and Rex. We've met somebody called Rocco before, I'm pretty sure. And apparently he's in the Elite Four. That's even that's even more wild than I thought. He's like literally just a kid, I'm pretty sure. I mean, his model made him look like a kid. That's wild. Is this the Battle Cafe? No, oh, it looks like it. What the hell? Ecolipser. That looks like it would be the evolution of... um. That exoplasm? I don't know what it was called. It was very strange looking though. Who is this? Barb... Barb Viral? He's kind of funky looking. I like him. I'm sorry guys. I feel like my reaction to a lot of these Pokemon are very similar. Like, I think I say the same thing. But honestly, he looks cool. He kind of reminds me of Ferrothorn. Alolan Ferrothorn. If most of these battles are double battles, that is a saving grace. That will help me. Uh, level up my dude very very fast so 
I thank you, Double Battles. The only thing I don't like about Starburst right now is his defense stat is very low. But you guys did inform me that he does evolve uh, again after this, I guess, this form. So, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing what he evolves into. He evolves um, based on a move he learns called Firework, I think. I think he learns at level 48. So, I think that's technically when he evolves. Um, I think you are able to teach it to him uh, with a heart skill though or something. Um, but then even if you do that, he doesn't evolve until level 44. So he evolves at 44, but only if he knows the move Firework. Uh, but he only learns it at 48. It's really confusing, I know. Uh, but hey, we are getting uh, Starburst, I guess, eventually. So I don't know if we'll get him this episode. Oh, Pool Dog. I guess that's the evolution. He, he's he's looking fierce. This is actually like a proper double battle because Rush Dog and Pull Dog like help each other out. One of them's got Lightning Rod. One of them's a Water type. Like that's that's something else, man. I actually really do like the idea of like Pull Dog, you know, um, his I guess his the drool coming out of his mouth just being his water. Like like, like he's a Water type. I think that's super cool. I like that. I mess with that. It looks like it would be like a legitimate Pokemon idea. And something I've just come to realize is that um, uh, Rupert and um, Rupert and I forget the uh, Rupert and Starburst, those guys, those guys will be amazing double battle partners because Rupert has ground type moves, which typically would be four times super effective um, on Starburst, but because Starburst has Levitate, it's gonna do nothing. And then, of course, um, Starburst now has Discharge, which is going to be doing lots of damage to everything, except Rupert, because Rupert's a ground type. So, Rupert and Starburst are going to be amazing double battle partners, and I cannot wait to get those two out in the field together. We've got Shrimpoon. Wait, who's this? I guess that must be the evolution of that little shrimp guy, I, I think. Uh, hopefully, we can one-shot it. Yes, let's go, Starburst. Who needs to be afraid of a war weakness when you one draw everything in your sight? And, oh, this... Wait. Is that a quads evolution? I'm so disappointed. Why does he look like that? Come on, then. Square up. Square up. You think you're so tough? Fight me. Mega kick. Go. And he missed. What an idiot, dude. What an idiot. Don't ever... Don't ever come into my house again thinking you can 1v1 Rupert. Get out of here. I love this little dude following me. The amount of love and effort that went into this game is like astounding because they've got these these little animated sprites for every single Pokemon and all their shiny forms. It's just great, man. I'm so grateful. All right, so it looks like we're going to have an evolution of that Moose Stone. Oh, it's Moose Strike. All right, he's looking feisty. Now, if I remember correctly, Moose Stone was a rock normal type, so Low Sweep should absolutely obliterate him. Yeah, having a four times weakness to fighting is definitely something you don't want. Hum zap. Um, wasn't this thing electric flying and it made me really mad because I really wanted to use it, but it was another flying type that we would seen. It's got it's got it's got a speed boost, which makes sense. I think this thing's really cool actually. I really like this thing's design. Uh, uh, an electric hummingbird. That's dope, man. Wait, hold on. Cyphlock? Oh, hey, big guy. What are you all about? I don't even know where that thing came from. I, I, I feel it's an evolution of something, but I don't even... I think I think we saw the pre-evolution maybe in, in the route before Goldune Desert. I think, maybe. Horseshush, oh, hey. Uh, hey, big guy. Jam, leaf darts, that's such a cool... Yo, that's such a cool move idea and name. I like that. Uh, have we seen this before? I know we've seen the pre-evolution. Spony, I think it was. Horshush. Horshush. I don't know how you'd even pronounce that. But the idea of like a, a multi-hitting grass type move called leaf darts. Man, that, that just screams Decidueye. That just that just screams Decidueye in my opinion. Oh, Rupert's trying to learn jump kick. Finally. A good a good move. And I believe that is everybody in the cafe defeated, so that's dope. I guess that just means now we gotta move on to the lighthouse. So it looks like the only thing that we're really able to do here is go to the lighthouse. I've spoke to everybody else and everybody's just pointing me towards the lighthouse. This seems to be their, the game's way of being like, yeah, we still have other things you can do besides battle gym leaders, ha 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 ha. You always wanted to be a gym leader. I was just saying that, but he didn't get his license. So this lighthouse is like a gym, but you don't get a badge if you beat him. And okay, so this is literally, this is literally like 
a, a gym, but obviously, you know, it's it's not officially a gym, but it's a gym. It's like the fighting dojo in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Well, to be honest, I'm quite surprised as, as to how many, like, or as to how much experience I've been gaining from all these battles we've been doing. So I've got a feeling that Starburst could potentially evolve this episode because it evolves in five more levels, which is actually like crept up on us really quickly because Starburst was level 42 earlier, like not even half an hour ago for me. That's the power of the Lucky Egg, guys. The Lucky Egg is insane. I'm just happy that Starburst can stand on its own two feet, you know? I just, I'm glad that it doesn't have to uh, rely on, you know, switch training now. We got Foxivin and Horshush though. I like Foxivin. Oh, he's trying to learn fireworks now. Okay. Um, so I guess I was misinformed. Um, this move super effective on flying types. Yo, that's sick. So I guess what, what happened here is um, I I guess I was told that I guess I was looking at the the I think I was looking at the old data and I think I think it said he learned at level 48. So I'm sorry for misinforming. Uh, at least we've cleared that up now. So I guess we're finally gonna see what our, what our little guy evolves into. I'm really excited. I don't like Aqua Tail. It's got a 10% chance to miss. Um, okay, dope. Let's try out Fireworks then. Uh, yeah, sorry for misinforming you. That's just what I knew about the, the Pokemon Solar Light Lunar Dark fandom page. I, apparently it is out of date, but I didn't know it was that out of date. Because it did say that it learned Fireworks at level 48. I, I it was something that I checked. Uh, but hey, at least uh, at least now we know. And we're gonna see what our little, our little guy evolves into. Oh baby, you've evolved twice in one video. Good for you. Good for you. Slay. Oh no, it looks. Oh my god, it looks so huge. Holy crap! I don't know if I like this. I kind of want to run Eviolite. Should I cancel it? Oh no, 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 no. Holy crap, dude! This thing just wait went straight up Ultra Beast. This thing just went straight up Ultra Beast. Okay, that is an Ultra Beast. I don't care what anybody says. Blitzibloom or Bl Blitzaboom. Jesus Christ, you're huge. Holy crap. I don't know how I feel about that. I will say the middle evolution is still my favorite, I think. The middle evolution looks amazing. But obviously I want to use the final evolution of everything that we have. Dude, you are huge. Look at his special attack stat. My boy is insane. All right, well, that that's that, I guess. Oh my god. Fair enough, honestly. I'm kind of, I kind, I don't know. I kind of wish I ran Eevee Light. It's too late to go back now. The thing is, I like the design of it. It's just, I think I like his pre-evolution a bit more. It's like Charizard and Charmeleon. Like, I love Charizard to bits, but. I think I like Tremeleon just that little bit more. I think I'm in the same situation here. Damn, this thing is insane. Number 157. I think that means the Pokedex should show us what it what its an original form looks like. So, okay, so this is its original form. This is the evolution line. This this guy is insane. Um, I don't know how I feel. I, I, I think the shiny version of this guy is actually cooler. So we lucked out on that, on that side of things. I'm still gobsmacked, I'm just saying, but at least we've got a powerful ally. Um, I don't think an Eevee like, you know, Blitz of uh, Boom would have been very, very good. So, you know, whatever. Let's just power through this lighthouse or whatever. Starburst gained a lot of HP from what I can tell. So even though it doesn't have the best defensive stats, its HP is just so ridiculous, rid ridiculously high that it's able to just eat all types of hits. Oh, Scorponova learns fireworks too. That's great, I felt special. I felt, I felt special about having the move fireworks, but apparently I'm just not. Looking at it, Eclipser has actually got a really cool design. It's literally an Eclipse Pokemon. I think that's actually really cool. All right, well, let's put what I was saying into practice earlier. I think, uh, I think Starburst and Rubert would make a really good double battle duo. Let's, let's see how they do. Uh, we got, these guys. Oh, they've, he's got a Rupert of his, of his own, actually. That's that's really fitting. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work then. I was just going to spam Discharge and Bulldoze, but I don't... I think we might have to Fireworks. Yeah, let's just, let's double into the Rupert because... Uh, or the Rubyop. The Ru Rubyop. I guess that's his name. And then Fireworks goes into Scyphlock, and that actually works out for us. Name a more iconic duo. I'll wait. Platiplash? Yo! 
He evolved. Hey, man, how's it going? Bulldoze doesn't affect Starburst because of Levitate. And uh, we get some clean damage off on Platy Flash. And we're going to Oko the Col the, Col the Colbolta. All oh, right, Platy Flash is a ground type. I should have knew that. I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have uh, discharged there, I guess. You know what? This episode is going so much better than I expected. Our guys are almost like caught up in level uh, with my main dudes, so I'm super happy. All right, well, this looks like the fake gym leader. Made it all the way to the top. Congratulations. Now let me introduce myself. I'm uh, Beacon, the lighthouse keeper. Ah, what a, what a really good name. I look at the lighthouse and I make sure that everything keeps running so the light doesn't go out. Um, but that's not all. I'm also a founder of the Pokemon Flying Service. When I was younger and traveling the region, I always thought that HM moves are not necessary. I founded the Pokemon Flying Service, which allows you via whistle to call one of my Pokemon to fly you to the place you want. That's an awesome idea, isn't it? Um, but to use my service, I decided to only allow trainers to use if they can handle to beat me. So you're ready to give it a try? Go. That's... I mean, to, for the fact that we learned this move called Fireworks that are super effective on flying types right now is like really, really good timing. Um, I'm not gonna use it right now because I can tell this thing's a water flying type. So it's only gonna be neutral. It's better if I use Discharge here, but at least we've got Fireworks and we're super effective on the probably the rest of his team now. Uh, I, also, I don't know what the hell that thing was. I guess that was the evolution of the Ugly Duckling Pokemon. Uh, fireworks, oh my God, that's gonna murder Aroma. Oh God, I feel so bad for you. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt, dude. Super effective by four times, I imagine. Ouch. Limfoon, ah, uh, what's this? Oh, it's the evolution of the little guy that kept annoying me. You guys told me he was a blimp and I was like, okay. <laughs> Blimfoon, I mean, it makes more sense now. He actually looks cool in this form, but like, I guess the form he had before was just really, I don't know, his, his, ev his pre-evolution just like literally what was that? Uh, Legendix, you're gonna resist, so... Oh, Sunny Day! Okay, I've not actually seen that being activated before. We'll just discharge, though. Oof! How did you live? Why would you live that? Mystical Fire? Stealing Delphox's move much? That's actually a really good move. It's unfortunate that in the main games, only Delphox and, like, one other Pokemon can learn it. Really strange. Level 48. Yeah, we're basically caught up in level now. I feel bad um, for my, my main two guys. You got amazing skill. Congratulations on the win. That was a tough battle for sure. You are awarded this. The service whistle. Yes, let's go. Okay. I mean, it's a bit of a strange thing to, you know, just what happens if I'm just sitting there whistling? I'm just stranded. I'm whistling and nothing, nothing appears. It, I don't know. It just seems like a bit of a, <laughs> a strange way to like, I think somebody was like, oh, would you get like a hot air balloon or something uh, as, as the alternative to flying? I mean, I guess this is a more realistic alternative to flying. Or whatever. But hey, uh, we're done here. And of course, Rodney. Is that his name? No, it's not Rodney. So you beat the Battle Beacon. You won. I suppose that if you beat him, he must be not be that strong. Just a waste of time if I battled him. Uh, there's no gym here, so this place is pointless. I'll be heading um, back to my home in Rassic City. My sister Lizzie called me saying that the Dragon Master Rex is there. You don't know who he is. Well, he's a famous trainer of Dragon type Pokemon. He's also one of the Elite Four members. I'm going to see if I can challenge him to a battle. Catch you later, root loser. So he's at Rassic City, right? Okay, well, I guess that's where we're going next. Um, I mean, I, I would guess maybe Rassic City is onwards though, because I've never heard of that place. I think. Let's uh, let's check out the, the good old Poke Gear map. Rassic City is that next? Sleep, uh, Sealport, Rassic City. Yeah, Rassic City's all the way up here. That's where he came from. Damn, okay, well, um, I guess we're gonna be traveling, uh, south next. So, with that, we're gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next time on Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark, we're gonna be traveling south and going east. No, yeah, east, I guess. Uh, we're, we're just gonna take where the game takes us to go. Uh, this egg actually still hasn't hatched. Is it close? It doesn't seem close to hatching. I mean, I'm, I'm not really bothered about what hatches from it. I just have it just to have it. Uh, I'm really happy with the team now, though. The only thing I'm unhappy with is Mudkip's nickname and Siphoon's nickname. I want to actually nickname Siphoon. I don't know if we'll ever be able to, but besides that, I love my team, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying the series thus far. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you in the next video.